And our gun rights are up for bids or whatever you'd like to call them today. They are under attack again. And I'm not even going to say our gun rights. I'm going to say California's. But here in New York, I have to be very careful about that because it could very well be our rights because the dumbass senators over here in New York often get these crazy ideas from their head uh, from the West with their ridiculous laws because the way I see it, and, and quite a few people will see it, is the worst state with the worst gun laws are, is California. That, that is actually quite by, by far, it's California. And then after that, it's usually New York or one of the states around here. I think Massachusetts might be another one, but usually it's New York with these ridiculous ones. So why am I making this video? Uh, because of an airsoft bill. These idiots over there in California think that you... The, the bill is basically called SB 798, and that is going to make it that any airsoft gun, you know, the ones that the, the teens and the kids uh, run around and play, they, whoops, my screen dimmed, uh, they, they play, they shoot little plastic BBs, and, you know, they have fun, it's like the new paintball, basically. But the new bill, SB 798, is going to take all of the uh, airsoft guns and have, have them have to be painted some ridiculous color so that they are legal in California. They either have to be clear or pink or orange or something that absolutely doesn't matter whatsoever. Now, I don't airsoft, so why am I arguing this? Well, one of my main views is just because a law doesn't apply to you doesn't mean that you can't have a feeling about that. Uh, I feel that quite often with age limits. I'm over 18 now, but I think a lot of the things that people need to be 18 to get... I think it's a little ridiculous, like, our city just passed a law that you need, or not our city, whatever, our township, what, I don't even know what the hell I live in here, but that you need to be 18 to get 5-hour energy. I think that's completely, utterly stupid, and that doesn't even affect me. But anyway, something that doesn't affect me is this SB 798, making the airsoft guns that come into California have to be painted some ridiculous color, like orange or pink or something like that, taking away, definitely without a doubt taking away from the experience that the airsofters would have to face, because, I mean, I can understand where they would have fun, you know, playing, you know, little fake M4s or, you know, whatever pistols you want. But, uh, no, they'd have to be painted some ridiculous color. And let me show you why this is stupid right here, and, you know, just more fear-mongering. Um, what I have here is a Walther CP99 Compact. This is actually a BB gun here. This technically wouldn't fall under the bill, but this could easily just be an airsoft gun here. So this is one that looks like a real gun. Okay. And this is a Starburst Jelly Bean Egg. Okay, now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take a couple steps back, and you tell me how many lives we're going to save with this fucking ridiculous bill. And yes, I swore, but I don't really give a damn. I'm not into politically political correctness here in my channel. I'm here to get points across and make videos. So anyway, I'm going to take a couple steps back and I'm I'm going to be uh, you know, in a dark alley and you're going to be the cop and and let me ask you something. If I go like this back here. What did I just point at you? All right? What did I just point at you? Did I point the gun? Did I point the jelly bean egg? Does it matter? If, if I'm a cop, I don't know about you, but if I'm a cop and I'm in a dark alley and, you know, some guy might be a little shady, me, he makes a gesture like this, you know, that's dumb and, and probably going to get shot, and rightfully so. If you don't know that you're not supposed to make gestures like this when you're going to deal with a police officer, then you deserve to be shot. I don't care if it's with a banana, a black airsoft gun, a colored airsoft gun. It's just so utterly stupid that it's unbelievable. And these stupid laws need to get shot down before they even start. I know this is an airsoft bill, but I don't want their ideas getting in their heads. What's going to be next? You know, real guns have to be painted ridiculous colors so we know that they're approved for the state of California or the People's Republic of New York or whatever so what other states are going to be doing it next. It's just stupid and they need to be shot in the head. This video was um, inspired by one of the color lovers videos that he made how he's going to be fighting for legal action for uh, guns to get these ridiculous laws out of there and of course you know from New York I know a thing or two about the ridiculous laws they have I love the 10 round magazine limit one which makes absolutely no sense well side fact to that when that 10 round magazine limit was imposed they actually did a list of the used most used weapons in crimes of that year. Not one, not one of the top five weapons used in crimes that year had over a 10-round magazine. That's what I like. You know, government that actually researches things before they just spew out bullshit.
I love when they do that. Not one of the top five weapons that you were used in crime had over a 10 round magazine yet. We need to ban that. We need to ban that. And of course, anybody else from New York will know the uh, the, the assault weapons ban. That's really saving a lot of people. How You can't have flash hiders and you can only have a compensators on the front of your ARs. Again, nothing like that ever appeared in the weapons that were most used in crimes. Uh, you can't have all the adjustable stock. That's another good one because we know those extra six inches that in uh, AR stock you can adjust it for. One because I have a fixed stock in New York, that's a safe weapon. But if I had it so it could be adjusted, that's a heat-seeking airplane shooting down, air, just helicopter-destroying, heat-seeking death machine if I add those uh, extra six inches. Actually, not add those extra six inches. Take away the extra six inches from my stock because it's pinned in the last position now for whatever ridiculous New York reason. So, yeah, a little, little rant about, you know, me be pissed off about these stupid laws that come up. And if this SB 798 comes up, you can look it up on Google if you don't believe me, something that this ridiculous could be true. If this actually passes, you know, that's just, I, I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, that I, I honestly think our country is taking a big downturn when it comes to stupid stuff like this. I mean, oh, it's keeping you safe. No, it's not. Just flat out, no, it's not. I'm just going to say, no, it's not. It's not going to keep anybody safe whatsoever by having... Uh, painted uh, airsoft guns so they're all clear or pink or orange or some other bull crap. I mean, let the people in California have whatever fun they can have left now that you've taken everything else away from them. I mean, now, oh, what do we need to take now, too? We need to take away their, uh, you know, real colored guns there, even though they already have a freaking orange tip attached to the front of them. Now they need to be completely orange, because that'll make them safe. Bullshit. So, thanks for watching, and if you guys have a feeling on this, I mean, you can write to the, the California senators, or, you know, if, if anybody lives in California and they're dealing with this, you got airsofters out there, or any other airsofters want to comment, go ahead and comment on this video, and uh, here we go, just a little rant I had. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a nice day.